Do you know what's more underground than a startup in stealth mode? A multi-billion dollar database company secretly owned, well kind of, by a cloud infrastructure giant you've also barely heard of. Today we're talking about ClickHouse, the high-speed data engine powering some of the biggest names in tech, and it's a name every tech investor should know. And also, how Nebius Group, the same folks building AI supercomputers across the world, happens to own a massive slice of it. This is one of those stories where you're like, wait, why didn't anyone tell me this before? But my job is to fix that. Make sure to hit like, subscribe, and ring the bell so you don't miss content like this in the future. So what the heck is ClickHouse? ClickHouse is an open source, column oriented database management system. Yeah, it's a mouthful, but here's the key. It's designed for blazing fast analytics on massive data sets. So think about petabytes of data, real time queries, millisecond response times. It was born inside Yandex, so Russia's version of Google around 2009, originally built to power Yandex Metrica which tracks web traffic like Google Analytics, but on steroids. By 2016, they open sourced it and the dev community went, yo, this thing is fast. So today, ClickHouse is used by some very quiet, but very big names, such as Tesla, Meta, Stripe, and even Anthropic. ClickHouse can scan over a billion rows per second per server. So how does it pull that off? Unlike traditional row-based databases like MySQL or PostgreSQL, ClickHouse stores data in columns. That means it only reads the data it actually needs. Faster, lighter, smarter. And it goes further. Data is compressed heavily. ClickHouse can shrink data sizes by five times or more. It supports vectorized execution, running many operations in parallel for top speed. And it avoids joins wherever possible using something called denormalized data structures. In benchmark tests, ClickHouse has outperformed Google BigQuery and Amazon Redshift in cost per query and latency, two key metrics for businesses dealing with real-time analytics. So in 2021, some very smart folks said, hey, why don't we take this speed demon and turn it into a full-blown company? And boom, ClickHouse Inc. was born. They raised over $650 million so far, including a massive $350 million in Series C in 2025. Their current valuation is somewhere around $6 billion right now. And here's where things get interesting. Enter Nebius Group. So firstly, if you've never heard of Nebius, you're not alone. They're like the Taylor Swift of cloud infrastructure, if Taylor only performed for AI engineers. Nebius used to be the international tech arm of Yandex. They spun out in 2024, moved to Amsterdam and listed on the NASDAQ under the ticker symbol NBIS. Their main business is building AI native data centers powered by GPU clusters across Europe and the US. But guess what? They also own 28% of ClickHouse. So nearly a third of the whole company that's almost $1.7 billion worth of the company sitting on their balance sheet. So let's talk real world muscle, because when companies like Tesla and OpenAI use your database to handle their most demanding data loads, you're clearly doing something right. Tesla uses ClickHouse to handle massive volumes of telemetry and sensor data from its global fleet. Think hundreds of millions of events per second streaming in real time from autopilot and full self-driving systems. They need to query petabytes of log data to debug crashes, fine tune machine learning models and analyze edge cases. ClickHouse lets Tesla engineers run deep complex queries in seconds, not hours, even across billions of rows. Tesla actually migrated away from other systems to ClickHouse, specifically for performance reasons. In fact, at one engineering talk, a Tesla engineer said, we ran benchmarks and ClickHouse was literally 100 times faster for our use case than our previous stack. And what about OpenAI? You might not expect a cutting edge AI lab to use a traditional database, but that's exactly what they do. Because ClickHouse is that fast. So OpenAI uses ClickHouse to monitor and audit inference traffic from models like ChatGPT. This includes tracking requests, latency, 
token usage, user behavior, and failure events across billions of rows daily. They've built dashboards and alerting systems powered entirely by ClickHouse, helping them keep model performance in check in real time. So why not use something like Snowflake, you might ask? Well, the answer is cost and speed. ClickHouse is open source, cheaper to run, and offers sub-second analytics, crucial for monitoring systems at scale. So whether it's millions of smart cars on the road or AI models serving billions of users, ClickHouse is proving itself where it matters in the real world, under real pressure with real stakes. ClickHouse is on the path toward a likely IPO, potentially as soon as 2025 or 2026, and the analytics market it's in is projected to grow to more than $100 billion in 2030. And ClickHouse plays in the same space as Snowflake and Databricks, where it has the advantage of open source scale, lower cost, and higher raw performance. So ClickHouse isn't just a database, it's a power tool for data-driven companies and potentially a power mover for your stock watch list. So when ClickHouse does IPO, Nebius could cash out big, reinvest it in its AI cloud or use that stake to expand. That means if you're following Nebius stock, you're not just investing in a cloud company. You're buying a piece of a hyper-growth analytics firm that's becoming critical infrastructure for AI. It's like buying Amazon in 2004 and getting AWS thrown in for free. And this is not financial advice, but you get the idea. It's $52 right now. And ClickHouse is still private, but they're scaling fast. So their plan is to go deep into AI ML workloads, power real-time observability, and dominate the next-gen analytics game. And Nebius, they've said this ClickHouse stake is non-core, which is corporate speak for we might sell it later and make a boatload of cash. Smart move. So keep your eye on both companies. Their futures are linked and very, very interesting. If you learned something today, smash that like button and subscribe to the Nebius Network. Thanks for watching. See you next time.